Alright, what's good, fellas? August Ames' current boyfriend here, back with another episode of our Dreadnoughts Relocation franchise. Now, first things first, um, a lot of people have been talking about Sluggos coming to the Dreadnoughts or coming to the NFL in general. And I have a really cool idea that I want to share with you guys. I've been thinking about this idea for, like, IRL weeks and I finally want to introduce it to you guys first things first I have to make the seasons match up I'm pretty sure the seasons in comparison are pretty damn close I think they might be like one or two weeks off if I skip a couple of games in this franchise and just do it off screen So we can catch up to where the slugs are would you guys want me to do that? And secondly what I want to do is when people leave the slugs So let's say at the end of the year for the slugs Yancey graduates Kirby graduates, you know You've got like four or five people that graduate and they're going to the NFL when we finished the draft live on stream, I was going to put all the names into like a little hat or something like that. And I was also going to put the four teams in our division being the Dreads, Pats, Dolphins and Jets. We would pull this out and it'd be like, okay, Jets, right? And then we'd go to the second hat and be like, bang. Yancey. So therefore, Yancey would be going to the Jets in the NFL. I thought that would be the coolest way to go about it. I definitely don't want all the slugs on the Dreadnoughts. Then we're not creating characters for our own Dreadnoughts, you know, like Davenport and stuff. It'd make no sense. The Jets might get all four slugs. It just depends on the randomness of the hat. The power of the hat. Now let's go ahead and jump into scouting this week. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm looking for, man. I mean, it'd be nice to get some offensive linemen once again. I know a couple of our linemen are getting old. But I mean, <laughs> I don't really bother scouting linemen until we have the combine reports because it doesn't even matter if you scout offensive linemen. As long as you know the combine report, you're pretty much going to pull high 70s or 80s. He's got a traffic light as his top three skills, but he should be all right. He should be all right. Cornerback would definitely be something. Um, I don't know, man. It'd be nice to get a new quarterback as well. This guy's got an A to start it out. If we had to take a quarterback, I don't know who I would take. Maybe Tate Teague? Uh, I'd probably take Jack Sparks, to be honest. I mean, then again, Tate Teague is a Wisconsin player, and you know Wisconsin players are OP as hell <laughs> in Madden. Like, really OP, though. Jumping into the re-signings, though, Lorenzo Alexander. I mean, I think you said no to us last week, eh? That's all you're getting, though. What the fuck? Mate, you're so old, bro. Why do you need that much money when you're 35, bro? Just be happy with what you get. That just annoyed the hell out of me. I don't want to get any of these players, man. You can go fuck yourself. Start weekly training. We are still going to be focusing on our boy, young Taro Yoshimaru. Looks like DK from um Tokyo Drift. Shogun Iowa. You know, I don't mess around with the uh, the practice every week. I just go to the gold ones that we did the week before and just simulate it. You know, it's a lot quicker. You get the most experience you can and uh, everybody's happy. I hate going up against Vontae Davis, bro. He's so annoying. Like, the Colts in general. If you are an OG and you're around back way in Madden 16, you know how annoying the Colts were, bro. They were like our mortal enemy. Le'Veon Bell has officially been cleared from injury. So that's going to be exciting. We can use him again. We got Starvin, Marvin, Garvin back. And uh, I don't know what to do with Elliot now. Do we trade this guy away? I'll leave that up to you. What should we do with Landon Elliot? We're already past the trade deadline, so we'd have to do it at the end of the year. But uh, if you guys are hyped for another episode, don't forget to smack a like on the video for your boy. Show your boy some love. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. And that being said, let's get it. And it's a feeling that I can't explain. How you make it in your team still stay the same. Stay Come on, boys. Hits are on. Hits on, boys. Come on, Rankin, smash this fool. Woo! You see that? I'm coming from the sideline to make that tackle. Andrew Luck, even though you're a top five QB, don't debate me, don't at me. You're about to get picked off, my dude. Come on, mate. You got to do better than that. Looking like this running back's only rich in spirit after that first play. Fuck it. We're talking Dreadnought's defense right here. Come on, now. Come on, now. <laughs> Really? We're going to jump in this 3-4 lockdown defense. I'm even going to chuck Fanini on man coverage. That's the beauty of having a outside linebacker play end. You can chuck them on man coverage if you have to. Man, there's so many plays to fucking guard. Uh oh Woo! Getting knocked out. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even see that guy, man. I shouldn't have to worry about that guy. I thought he would have got blocked. The awareness in his game is so ass, man. Like, if they do do a patch, they definitely have to patch, like, the aware or the IQ of the players. You know what I mean? Let's go, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Welcome back. 
Bell is just too valuable to this team and to my heart, man. I don't want to trade him away. For once, let me have a player I want on the team, man. <laughs> Look at this, mate. Look at this, mate. This is too easy. Stiff arm that bitch. The sliders are on 10, mate. They're on 10. You just came back from injury. At least we do have Starvin, Marvin, Garvin, Jarvin to back up Le'Veon Bell. But still, man, he, not even half a damn quarter. I got to use him. Fucking joke, mate. Is that man coverage? The Colts are notorious for playing bitch-ass man coverage. Let's go, Zay Jones. Stop saying let's go. Come on. Think of something. Think of a cooler catchphrase. Speed, height, route running, and release advantage, dude. That's all you need to see right there. Abdominal strain will return soon. Mate, you're staying on the field. It's not, actually, we're going to have to switch out of this cornerback blitz. Yeah, they're going to go back to the running back, mate. <laughs> Let's shut this guy down, bro. I don't want this guy making any yards. Let's go. Oh, that's a double hit. That's a kill shot. All right, Levante, you're going to have to come out here and pretend like you're actually going to do something, man. Oh, man, take him to the ground, please. I'm really happy NTE did use the Colts this year because the Colts need some love, bro. I would actually love to do a Colts franchise. I might do one like off screen or some shit now that I think about it. I swear no YouTubers ever use the Colts. Like, I don't remember seeing anybody ever use the cold shouts out to you nte for keeping it real all right so starving marvin garvin oh levion's back out here all right make sure you don't get injured though my dude i'm gonna be doing that after every run just in case he decides to get injured that's man coverage again are you joking bro are you joking bro and tyrod really isn't that bad of a quarterback like he can deliver I guess it just depends on the type of defense that we play though, you know? Like if they're going to be doing this man coverage bullshit and just get... Like they're going to get dotted up <laughs> apart from that throw. But they will get dotted up. We got some speed on the outside. We don't. We have a height advantage though. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. Let's put Holmes on a uh, smart routed out route. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to bait the free safety out there. Okay, we'll take that. Woo! Good catch! Oh, that's Clay! Our dude tight end Clay is back as well. Just more weapons! Just more weapons to utilize out there! This is the first time Clay's been back in like six or seven weeks, man. Yeah, we need to make this guy have a great game. There we go. Take that up the middle. Possession. I feel like he could have probably gotten that A. Why is Bell not in there? You got injured though. Did, did Tyrod get injured? It's always an injury, bro. And I've got the sliders on like 10. You know what I mean? So if you're getting injuries this common on 10 sliders, and you gotta think as well. Hold on. Dot him up. Let's go. You gotta think as well. Le'Veon would have a pretty high injury rating, you would think. And he's gotten injured twice. You know, I might flick Bell out on a wheel and just see if we can make this. Yeah, look at this. That was a pretty risky pass, man. If I was playing D on that, I could have used it that A. <laughs> oh, my broken thumb, mate. You don't understand how bad we need Chris Godwin out here, man. If they're just going to play man coverage again and again and again, then you need somebody with a speed and route running advantage. We just lost that. Yeah, what, what kind of defense is this, though? Zone? Look, they don't play main coverage and it's a touchdown. <laughs> GG, Colts. Woo! You see that hit? I had that lined up. Oh, what the fuck? How? How, bro? <coughs> Hell nah, man. Is that Richie Rich? Run play. Woo! Lockdown, man. All right, third and six. The best thing to probably do here is uh, definitely not do a cornerback blitz. We're just going to do it anyway. Oh, 
Bro, tell me in what world you hang on to that. There's just no way. He doesn't even know that Ronald Darby is there. <laughs> There's no way you hang on to that. I just get up like you're fine, mate. Yeah, yeah, because that's totally realistic. Oh, I fell. actually fell for that. But the strong safety coming through with the sack. Come on. Come on, man. Are you... It's Richie Rich. Come on. I don't know. Come on, mate. Redeem yourself. That was just not how you're going to redeem yourself there. Oh, look at that. See, this would be a perfect time to have uh, Chris Godwin, but that's not going to happen, you know? Ready? Ready? Terrible throw. And it's overthrown. If you're throwing it like deep, they never throw it on the actual streak itself. They always throw it like in inside that, you know what I mean? Kind of where the hashes are. It's weird, like right? It's weird. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did ya? No blocks, of course, because why would you block, you know? We have a corner route. No, we don't. Actually, that might be a good play to call. All right, let's get Levy on blocking. Let's get Clay blocking as well. I don't need a, a drag route on this. Oh, let's go! What a dot! I might actually go back to that. We nearly got sacked. That's the only problem. Look, he left him wide open. And... <laughs> nearly was a dot. Take off Tyrod. <laughs> oh shit, get rid of it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes! Let's go, Dalek. Hey, man. Hey, who got injured now on 10 sliders? Enlighten me, dude. Oh shit, we got the ball back. I was going to simulate the half out and we got the ball back. That's fantastic. We can just pile the points on there. <laughs> that was just me being cocky as hell, bro. But he tripped over. Malik Hooker tripped over. Come out. Who's the guy who came from Michigan State? Is it Rankin? No way, man. <laughs> that was a terrible play, man. You had two receivers, bro. What did you think was going to happen? Then you need to have more options than that, man. Come on now. All right, we're just going to try and bomb it deep. We're actually going to sub in Tullik. Come on! Ah, oh, man. At least we got some more yards padding the stats, you know? <laughs> and if that wasn't bad enough, after the safety and the three touchdowns, we get ball to start second half. Still working it out. How to get those KRs. King Grant, Abdominal Tear. Of course, mate. Well, I mean, why not? Why not just take out three of our offensive players? They're pressing hella hard, man. Let's go, Mike! Because <laughs> if you saw that at the last second, they pressed up hella tight on Mike, and he just... Poorly run by me, but we're making up for it! Le'Veon here, Jill! He's... How did 52 not react? How did 52 not take us down just then? This was disgusting. Disgusting running by me. Instead of hitting that gap, I run straight into the back of my own fucking player. 52 disengages from the block. Le'Veon just dances with 77 for a while. Until 52 finally, and right here, this is where I thought 52 would just warp tackle. That's why I was like cutting out and trying to like evade and shit. He didn't even attempt. Like he didn't even try. And that just takes me back to my earlier point. What I was saying about they need in a patch to like increase the computer's IQ. Ah. Woo! Show blitz. That worked. Here we go. 
Here we go, boys. This is where we get the pick. He's going to have to throw it up. And he's going to get sacked. Levante with two on the day. This play is so gorgeous when you show Blitz, man. Because they, they buckle. The computer doesn't know how to handle it. Uh, I mean, that was all right. Oh, shit. I thought I, I, thought I clicked on the imp. Damn it. Oh, let's go, Benson. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, man. Shaq, Shaq Lawson gets injured every week. Not once. This season, has he gone a game without getting injured, mate? Got to start trying to utilize Clay a little bit more. Would have probably preferred not to take that hit. I'll even put the streak like that so he's running out. See what I'm talking about? Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! I meant to do that. That actually happened to me in a draft champion game I had. Look at that. Gets hit right in the back, pops it up. It's like volleyball. He's like, oh my god, here you go. <laughs> Zay Jones, my dude. Oh, Tolik's checked into the game. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're going to dominate. We're going to dominate across the middle. Look at this. Terrible coverage. Terrible coverage. We need to get our offense off the field, man. They are so tired. Like, everybody is so tired. Let's go, Tyrod. <laughs> Woo! Don't think about the slam, man. Woo! Watch this cross the middle. Ah! Oh! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yo! My God, Benson, calm down! That same fucking out route, man. Same out route. How you don't get... There's no way you got injured off that, bro. That was dog shit of a hit. I'm going to put everybody on hard flats just in case they decide to go back to that stupid route again. <laughs> Let's go. That's three abdominal tears in one game, bro. Oh, wow. I mean, even if you put the injury sliders on 100 in Madden 17, there would not be this many injuries. I've got them on 10! And they missed the kick! They fucking missed it! <laughs> I love this game, but there's so much wrong with it. I'm sorry. Let's go, Zay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. If only you had the agility to cut that back out. Yeah, look at that, man. They have no awareness of Mike Williams. Oh, terrible throw, man. Oh! Yeah, I would give up an interception just to see that hit again, man. Oh, my. How is that not a fumble? Oh, wow. Oh! Wow! Did he even get that? Watch me eat my words, man. Keeping Levy on belly and watch him get injured on the next play. In fact, Clay though. Clay on the corner? Let's ID the mic. Terrible defense. I don't know where the safety was going. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there was a flag! Oh, man! <laughs> wow, they took us back a long way just for that, dude. Oh, shit. As you can tell, I didn't mean to do that. Le'Veon Bell does deserve the touchdown, if anybody. Let's see if we can get... Oh, he's in... oh yeah, man, he's tired as well, bro. Why did you run the wrong way, my dude? Checking out the stats on the day. Young Tyrod, man, had two interceptions on the day, but did have a really good game. 64% completion rate, three TDs, 331 yards. On the rushing end of things, Le'Veon Bell pre-injury at 135 yards, 12.2 average and a touchdown. Harmon Rich, the rookie out of Notre Dame, had a touchdown. 
Tyrod Taylor also had a rushing touchdown on the day. On the receiving end of things, Zay Jones had 138 yards, surprisingly. Henry Tulloch with 54 and a touchdown. Mike Williams with 51. Charles Clay with 26. Welcome back to the team, my dude. Mike Williams had two drops, but I mean, we kind of did just vomit deep to him and hope for the best. On the defensive end of things, our leading tackle man today was Levante David. He also had two sacks, dude. That's crazy. Rankin didn't get injured, so Rankin's good, but our strong safety, Benson, who got the interception, went out with injury, so hopefully he'll be back next week. Same as Shaq Mason, he went down with injury. Sanchez Mayo, dude, the guy was meant to get dropped, but I completely forgot. He had an interception, so technically, did Mayo redeem himself? I think so. Welcome back to the squad, but you're definitely going to be a four string. Very rare situational you come on. That being said, if you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on the video for you, boy. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe because we do content like this every single day. And that being said, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. At all. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Now